amazing inventions by Filipinos that are still being used today. We may not be known for science, but the Philippines has made some remarkable contributions to the field. You may have read Filipino invention myths we totally fell for and learned that no, a Filipino did not invent the fluorescent lamp. No, a Filipino did not invent the armor light. No, ancient Filipinos did not use yo-yos as weapons. When it comes to who invented what, a lot of the stories out there are fiction, but these are real. Number 1 The two-way video phone. How would remote working be without Skype or Zoom? All this would not have been possible without the precursor to all of complex video telephony, the two-way video phone that was invented in 1955 by Filipino physicist and engineer Gregorio Zara. A Batangas native, he pursued studies at the University of the Philippines, Massachusetts Institute of Technology, and University of Michigan, summa cum laude. He was conferred the Trace Honorable, the first Filipino to receive that honor. Nobel winner Marie Curie was also given the same prize. On top of the video phone, Zara also established an eponymous physical law, worked on solar power, and invented several other things. Number 2 The Karaoke Machine Filipinos and Karaoke It's such a match that Filipinos have died for it. Read, how Frank Sinatra's song My Way triggered Filipino karaoke killings. It's important to realize that Filipinos did not invent karaoke, which is a Japanese concept featuring a person singing along a recorded accompaniment. However, in 1975, Filipino Roberto del Rosario did invent and patent the karaoke sing-along machine as we know it. Now, singing karaoke is as much a part of Filipino culture as it ever was Japanese. Number 3 The Bamboo Incubator Faye del Mundo was a great many things. A pioneering pediatrician in the Philippines, she studied at the University of the Philippines and pursued further training in Boston. In 1941, to help rural communities without electricity, she designed the Bamboo Incubator, a makeshift incubator that utilized two wicker laundry baskets of varying sizes. She put hot water bottles in the space between the baskets to regulate the temperature of the infants then added a hood and oxygen. Number 4 Erythromycin did you know that this popular antibiotic was discovered in Iloilo? Dr. Abelardo B. Aguilar was working for international pharmaceutical firm Eli Lilly and Company as a researcher. In 1949, he submitted his work to superiors who declared it a new type of antibiotic that could cure bacterial infections. Eli Lilly and Company branded it Elazone, after Iloilo, but never gave Aguilar the credit he was due. According to a feature by Filipino.net, Promises that were made to him for his achievement, including a trip to the company's main plant, fell on deaf ears. Number 5 Microchips A humble child of a rice farmer from Cagayan Valley, Dato Banatao worked his way up from a barefoot student to a Mapua cum laude to a trainee pilot to an alumnus of Stanford University. He was a member of the homebrew computer club with Steve Jobs and Steve Wozniak. His efforts resulted in the invention of the PC chipset and the Windows Graphics Accelerator chip, both of which are still used in computers today. Specifically, he is credited for the 10-bit Ethernet CMOs with silicon coupler datalink control and transceiver chip, the first system logic chipset, and the first Windows Graphics Accelerator chip. He founded three tech companies, one of which became the leading graphics chips market in the 90s. Today. He continues to support engineering students. Number 6 Anti-Cancer Cream Rolando de la Cruz is a Filipino inventor who won the gold medal for creating an anti-cancer cream at the prestigious International Inventors Forum in November of 2005. It is called the BCC Cream, and was developed from cashew nuts and other local herbs. It is used specifically for basal skin carcinoma BSC, which is known as the most prevalent type of skin cancer worldwide. Number 7 Quink Ink This is a quick drying ink that was invented by Filipino chemist, Francisco Quisuming. This ink was very innovative in the past and was further developed to work with Parker pens. This ink isn't just quick drying, it was also water resistant, doesn't clog the pen opening, doesn't blot and won't fade. This ink is considered one of the best selling inks for fountain pens. Number 8 Mole Remover In the year 2000, Rolando de la Cruz developed a formula that could easily remove deeply grown moles or warts from the skin without leaving marks or hurting the patient. 
The formula was made from cashew nut extracts, Anacardium occidental, a common plant in the Philippines. This formula won a gold medal in the International Invention, Innovation, Industrial Design and Technology Exhibition in Kuala Lumpur in the year 2000. Number 9 Filipino Made Train Brian Mazon, an electronics engineer, invented a Filipino made train that will be running using renewable energy. The train has three charging systems, the solar panel, windmill, and the pedals. According to Yazon, the energy from the three systems will be charged to the six batteries that is attached to the train and will power up to 24 volts motor to run the train. This train was launched in Cebu City, Philippines, and if the Cebu City government cannot have railways for trains, Yazon's invention is also flexible it can run in the highways via vehicle tires. Number 10 3-in-1 Fire Truck The Patriot is a 3-in-1 fire truck that was invented by inventor Alfredo M. Anos. Senior, who is known as the godfather of Filipino inventors. This truck is special since it serves as a fire truck, a rescue vehicle, and an ambulance. Thank you for watching. If you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell to get notified with the latest and new video. If you have a request on a particular topics that you want me to make a video, just type in the comment below.